what's going on everybody back with another HGA submission and so this one they are a couple weeks late on this is another 60 day submission it took a good three and a half months so they are a bit behind um, this is gonna be a total blind reveal here I have so I got the notification that the cars were graded and so now they put the grades on the website and they also send them in the email so I didn't want to go back and check to see what cars were in this because I was afraid I was going to see the grades and I didn't want to see them I like doing the blind reveal so by process of elimination because I've got a lot I've got three or four more orders at HGA I feel confident that there's a UFC autograph in here but other than that I'm really not sure what cards are going to be in here so i do see a ufc card on low i see another ufc card all right so there's a there's definitely a ufc autograph this might be multiple ufc cards here so that's a good sign because i am a big ufc fan got a big fight tomorrow night chandler versus gaethje and man that's my the fight i'm excited for and that's the first fight of the main card is chandler versus gaethje so going to be a great fight tomorrow night all right so i was correct i do have a ufc autograph here this is alexander rakic this is from the 2019 tops chrome this is his first autograph this is the rookie card numbered 50 out of 75 pulled this out of a blaster box of tops chrome 2019 Autograph, we got a 10. Man, it would be nice to see a 10 on this card. Here we go. Oh, we got it. Oh, so close to the flawless. Look at that. 10s, 10s, 10s. Only the centering got a 9.5. Are you kidding me? Awesome. I got my first 10. There it is. So close to the flawless. So close. 0.5. From getting a flawless card man that's exciting to see right there first 10 on an autograph first autograph card slab looks good I like the color of the card kind of is a little bit darker blue but you know some of these are definitely hard colors to match but that's a good looking card good looking slab man I'm excited with my first 10 there we go all right Rackage. 10. Man, that's good. Good start. So here's another UFC. This is a Darren Till rookie. So he just got whooped up on his last fight. But, uh, all right. not an autograph card. This is a, also 20. No, this is a 2018 Topps Chrome. Excuse me. 2018 Topps Chrome. I think I bought this off of somebody on eBay. And we got a 9.5. Oh, we got a 10 on the edges. It's a nice 10 subgrade there. Come on, camera. There we go. 9.5s all around, except the edges got a 10. And I, I went with the, uh, the neutral black label on this because there's really no other cards other than that. I guess they could have put a chrome in there or something, but I thought the neutral black would go good because there's no team or anything. That's a good looking slab. They do have horizontal slabs now for these horizontal cards, but I haven't haven't gotten any of those yet. I think they're they're using those now. I know they've been talking about them for a while. All right. Okay. This looks like an all UFC order. Okay. There's going to be one card in here that's not UFC. So we got four UFC cards here. Piotr Jan, spelled like Peter, but they always pronounce it Piotr. This is his rookie from the 2019 Topps Chrome. Piotr Jan also pulled this out of the same blaster box I got that autograph out of. Will be sweet if this one also got a 10. Same box. Here we go. Oh, crushed me on that. 8.5. Wow. So the surface, they really found something on the surface. I got a 7.5 on the surface. That absolutely crushed the grade on the card. Once again, I think that looks good though with that neutral black. Neutral black label. Looks good with this card. 
Man, I got hammered on that surface though. What did I miss on that surface to give it a 7.5? I'll have to examine that a lot closer. I really don't know. Let's take this. Get out of here. Man, it is so hard to see. You know, maybe a little something right there. But. That'll be something to give it a 7.5. Is that a hair or something? That might be a scratch on it right there also. You can't tell if it's a hair or a scratch. On the back of the card. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But wow, hammered on the surface, 7.5. Brought that all the way down to 8.5. Couldn't even get a 9 on my Piotr Yarn rookie. Okay. All right. Only football card of the submission. Looks like we got a Chase Young. This is the canvas, I believe. Yeah, canvas rated rookie. I thought this was a good looking card. Hope the slab comes out good. All right, nine five. We got two tens. Tens on the corners, ten on the edges, surface and centering both got nine five. But yeah, that's a good looking slab there. The colors match. That's that uh, neutral card match or neutral team match, I guess. Either way, a yeah, neutral team match. I think the card would have been the same whether I picked team or card. Yeah, that's a good looking slab. 9.5. Man, it would have been nice to get a 10 on one of these other ones to bump that total grade up to a 10. But yeah, that's a good looking card. Good looking slab. All right, Chase Young, canvas rated rookie. So uh, we got two 9.5s, the 8.5, and the 10. Final card of this submission. T City, Brian Ortega, rookie card, 2018 Topps Chrome, 2018. Well, let's see, nine five. There we go. Once again, I went with that black, neutral black, since there wasn't really any colors to go off of, off of the card, and no team colors. Well, that's a good looking Brian Ortega rookie card 9.5 we did get a 10 on the edges so 10 on the edges 9 centering 9.5 on the corners and surface so looking good here 3 nine fives and bang first 10 UFC autograph man I'm proud of that everybody's always talking about how hard it is to get a HGA 10 there it is. We finally got one. All right. So I got uh, three three more submissions with HGA still out, and I got an SGC, one at SGC that's still on, should be uh, getting ready to come back in the next couple weeks. So got some more of these card submission videos. Appreciate you watching this one. Hope to see you on the next one.